What's up guys, it's Josh here back with another Kansas City Chiefs related video and guess what? The Madden ratings are out for all Kansas City Chiefs and NFL players for that matter for the new Madden NFL 22 video game that is going to be coming out later this year. Now I know people love to say that Madden is a trash game and uh, Madden ratings don't matter but we'd all be lying if we said we didn't at least pay a little bit attention to the ratings because you want to see guys get a fair rating and you want to see players of your team on the Chiefs get the rating that they deserve like if you see someone that's just mind-bogglingly underrated in the game it kind of makes you a little upset and look I'm not a huge video game guy I'm not a huge Madden guy I don't play a lot so yeah I don't care all that much but I do like to see our guys get the recognition that they deserve uh but yeah the ratings came out uh, and I have some thoughts on some of them. I wanted to react to a couple of them and go over them with you guys. Uh, just give my general reaction to some of these Madden ratings that are out there. But uh, there's probably going to be some that ha that surprise you guys a little bit because uh, there were some uh, head scratching uh, ratings for some of the players on the Chiefs. So I'm going to give my reaction to those ratings right after this. <laughs> All right, so before anything, what I'm going to do before I give some of my takeaways, opinions, all that good stuff, I'm going to go up and down the list on EA.com where they have all the player ratings for the Chiefs and let you guys know what the ratings are for each player on the Chiefs roster since I know not all of you guys know what they are and I'm sure you're probably curious to know, but I'm going to read all of them off so that way you guys can kind of form your own opinions and maybe comment down in the sec comment section below uh, if any of them surprise you or if you disagree with any of them and whatnot. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start from the top and go all the way down. So Patrick Mahomes, 99 overall. Travis Kelsey, 99 overall. Tyree Kill, 98 overall. Tyron Matthew, 95 overall. Chris Jones, 92. Clyde Edwards Hilaire, 84. Harrison Butker, 84. Joe Tooney, 84. Orlando Brown, 82. Derek Nottie, 81. Frank Clark, 80. Legereus Sneed, 80. Jerron Reed, 79. Juan Thornhill, 79. LDT, 78. McCole Hardman, 78, Demarcus Robinson, 77, Charverius Ward, 76, Kyle Long, 76, Anthony Hitchens, 75. Going on to the next page, and bear with me, I know it's a lot of players, but uh, Austin Blythe, 75, Jarek McKinnon, 75, Mike Hughes, 75, Rashad Fenton, 75, Will Park, 75, Daryl Williams, 72, Tershawn Wharton, 72, Tommy Townsend, 72, Dan Sorensen, 71, DeAndre Baker, 71, Colin Saunders, 71, Mike Remmer, 71, Taco Charlton, 71, Nick Bolton, 70. Andrew Wiley, 69. Antonio Callaway, 69. Ben Neiman, 69. Byron Pringle, 69. Dorian O'Daniel, 69. Chad Williams, 68. Uh, wide receiver. I'm going to kind of list the position with some of these bottom of the roster guys since I know not everyone is too familiar. Um, Creed Humphrey, 68. Michael Burton, 68. Willie Gay, 68. Darwin Thompson, 67. Mike Dana, 67. Cornell Powell, 66. Darius Fountain, 66, the wide receiver. Darius Harris, the linebacker, 65. Darius Shepard, wide receiver, 65. Armani Watts, 64. Blake Bell, 64. Garrick Dieter, 64. Lucas Niang, 64. Nick Allegretti, 64. Nick Kaiser, 64. Noah Gray, 64. Tim Ward, 64. Running back Elijah McGuire, 63. Left tackle Prince Tega, 63. Left guard Trey Smith, 63. You guys all know who Trey Smith is. Uh, Austin Edwards, uh, defensive end, 62. Bo Pete Keys, 62. Damone Harris, 62. DiCaprio Boodle, 62. Joshua Kando, 62. Marcus Kemp, 62. Chad Henney, 60. Emmanuel Smith, the linebacker, 60. Rodney Clemens, defensive back, 60. Evan Bayless, tight end, 58. Darrell Williams, the center, 57. Yasir Durant, 56. Anthony Gordon, quarterback, 55. And then the long snapper, James Winchester, 31. So those are all the Kansas City Chiefs Madden ratings for Madden 22. So just to give some of my takeaways... 
One thing that immediately stands out, and I'm sure immediately stood out to you guys too, is Willie Gay being a 68 overall. Like, seriously? <laughs> like, Willie Gay, a 68 overall. I get he didn't play a lot last year. I get he was injured at times, uh, didn't have a big opportunity, but like the athletic ability is way, way, way too obvious to only have him at a 68 overall. And the really funny thing is they have Nick Bolton at a 70 overall higher than Willie Gay, even though Nick Bolton hasn't even played a down in the NFL. And look, I love Nick Bolton as a Mizzou fan. Love, love, love Nick Bolton. I think he's going to be a beast. But how are you how are you going to have him over Willie Gay? Willie Gay is more athletic than Nick Bolton and he showed flashes in the NFL at least. Like people will argue that it's because that uh Nick Bolton's draft status, he was a second rounder. Willie Gay is only a year removed from being a second rounder as well. And again, the athletic profile, it's just it's undeniable. Willie Gay being a 68 overall is a crime. I mean, Jeez, man, that that one, that's one that I think as we get more into the season is going to change real quick. Kind of looking more towards the top of the Chiefs roster, though. Uh, Patrick Mahomes, 99 overall. Should have been a 99 overall. Perfect. Travis Kelsey, best tight end in the league, 99 overall. However, Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey are the only two Chiefs members that are in the 99 club, okay, of NFL players that have a 99 overall rating in men. The others are... Aaron Donald, Devontae Adams, and Jalen Ramsey. However, I think leaving Tyreek Hill out of the 99 club, having him at a 98, just go ahead and give him that 99. I mean, Tyreek Hill, he's not that far off from Devontae Adams. In fact, I'd rather have Tyreek Hill over Devontae Adams. Now, that's some of my cheese bias, but Tyreek Hill is the most dynamic offensive threat in the entire league just go ahead and give him that 99 the speed is insane the athleticism is insane is insane i mean i made that video a while ago um talking about how casual fans view tyree kill and all these people say he's only good because of he's fast take away his speed and he's not the same player well yeah obviously if you take away his best trait he's not gonna be the same player which is stupid because you can't just do that but also it's not just his speed that makes him great it's his vertical it's his route running he's just a crazy athlete he can get separation he's has really good hands you know there's a lot of guys that are as fast as Tyree Kill have horrible hands always drop the ball and it kills their team Tyree Kill is he's got pretty reliable hands he's a smart player Go ahead and give him that 99. He's right up there with Devontae Adams. I, I mean, he's right up there. I really wish they would give Tyreek Hill that 99 overall rating. One thing that made me happy to see, though, was they gave Tyron Matthew a 95 overall, which makes him the highest rated safety in the game. We we all, as Chiefs fans, view Tyron Matthew as one of the best safeties in the league and deserving of that 95 overall rating, but I was a bit surprised to see him rated as the top safety in the game because I know there's arguments to be made for Minka Fitzpatrick, Justin Simmons, Buda Baker. There's so many good safeties in the league, um, but I do think Tyron Matthew is among the best, so uh, I'm just really happy that they recognized him for that. Another one that annoyed me a little bit, though, was Chris Jones being a 92 overall. I think Chris Jones is probably a little bit higher than that. They had Chris Jones as the third best defensive tackle uh, in the game. There's Aaron Donald, Fletcher Cox. Then they have Chris Jones, and Chris Jones is also tied with DeForest Buckner um, in that spot. Uh, I think at this point, Chris Jones is better than Fletcher Cox. There's a lot of people out there that still kind of give the edge to Fletcher Cox based on what he's done in the past. I think Chris Jones has surpassed him at this point. He had the high, he had the second highest pressure rate from the defensive tackle spot behind Aaron Donald. He's clearly been the second best defensive tackle in all of football behind Aaron Donald for a while now. Uh, I think it was a bit of a mistake to still put Fletcher Cox ahead of him. Another one that surprised me was Clyde Edwards-Hilaire's rating. He had an 84 overall. I think that's a bit high. I'm really not trying to uh, bag on Clyde again. But just based on the season he had last year, um, 84 overall I think is a bit high. They have Clyde Edwards-Hilaire 
rated higher than Legereus Sneed. I think Legereus Sneed was clearly the best rookie last year on the Chiefs. Uh, I think he deserves to have a higher overall than Clyde based on what we saw last year. That's just me, though. Clyde Edwards-Hilaire will probably look like an 84 overall this year, but, I mean, the game is going to be based on their accomplishments from last season. I feel like 84 overall is a little bit high for Clyde Edwards-Hilaire, especially, like I say, with LeJarius Sneed performing the way he did. Uh, I definitely think he deserved higher than an 80 overall. Uh, they also got Frank Clark on an 80 overall. It's probably about right. Maybe a little bit lower, I would say. I mean, I'm just being honest. I don't even think Clark is really an 80 overall. Maybe a 78 or a 79, uh, considering where they have some of the other players on the Chiefs uh, on here. Uh, the Chiefs' highest rated offensive lineman was Joe Tooney at 84 overall. Uh I think maybe he deserves to be a little bit higher than that. I think, you know, the Chiefs acquired a lot of talent at offensive line this offseason, and it's kind of surprised me that their highest rated offensive lineman in the game was Joe Tooney at 84 overall. Uh, I'm not surprised that it was Joe Tooney. I'm just saying I'm surprised that Joe Tooney at 84 overall was their highest, if that makes sense. Orlando Brown, I'd maybe give him a couple more points. Same thing with Joe Tooney. Uh, they have a lot of the other Chiefs offensive linemen rated pretty low, uh, but a lot of them are rookies and second-year players too, which is to be expected. I mean, they don't give rookies very high ratings in the game, and it's just because we haven't seen enough from them yet, so that's understandable. Another small detail that surprised me was Rashad Fenton and Mike Hughes being the same rating. Really what surprised me was Mike Hughes being a 75 overall. I like that trade by Brett Veach this past offseason, taking a flyer on a guy that the Vikings were probably going to cut anyway. But that's why I'm surprised. Like, I know Madden ratings don't really translate to real life, and you shouldn't take them as gospel or anything, but cutting a player that is viewed as a 75 overall from Madden doesn't really make sense like I, I think they gave him too high of a rating like Mike Hughes hasn't really done anything in the league yet he's barely stayed healthy and he's got the same overall as Rashad Fenton a guy who's been a very good cornerback for the Chiefs the past couple of years so that one surprised me just a little bit Mike Hughes is kind of a mystery still and they gave him a pretty generous rating also wanted to throw in that the Chiefs' highest rated receiver behind Tyreek Hill in the game was McCall Harmon at a 78, Demarcus Robinson right behind him with a 77, and then there's a pretty big drop-off after that. Um, Byron Pringle at a 69 overall. There might be a lot of people out there going, really, Byron Pringle at a 69 overall? I'd say that's about right, though. I mean, he hasn't proven too much in the league. Uh, only 300 career receiving yards, maybe with increased opportunity this year. We see that rating increase, uh, but I think that's a fair rating for now. Um, DeAndre Baker at a 71 overall. That's nice to see. I really hope DeAndre Baker can increase that this year. I think he'll have an opportunity to do that. Uh, I can definitely see him being a big riser on the Chiefs roster as the season goes on. I see they got Ben Neiman at a 69 overall, too. I think that's a little generous if we're all being honest, right? Ben Neiman, he should be more in the... 50s don't you think uh i mean in all honesty the uh ben neiman at 69 almost at a 70 overall seems a little generous it really does and then kind of like how i mentioned the chiefs rookies didn't get very high ratings creed humphrey at a 68 cornell powell 66 um guys like that uh, lucas niang 64 i mean they're rookies there's not a whole lot to go off of they're giving them pretty standard ratings that Madden likes to give rookies and it's kind of based on where they're picked a lot of the mid-round guys uh, such as Noah Gray like I'm seeing here 64 overall like that's that's to be expected that's about where Madden is going to put them but I think we all know that their impact will probably be a little more than those ratings would indicate but yeah those are pretty much all my main takeaways uh I don't have too many more strong opinions uh, coming away from this. Really, the biggest one that I had was Willie Gay being a 68 overall just seems criminal, dude. It really does. Uh, that was one that probably surprised me the most, how you're going to give Willie Gay a 68 overall. I mean, he showed flashes and showed the potential of being a sideline-to-sideline guy in the NFL, and you're going to give Nick Bolton a higher rating than him, someone who's 
a little less athletically gifted and hasn't played a down in the NFL. That I just don't understand that one. Um, but everything else is pretty good. Oh, actually, they should have made Mahomes the first ever 100 overall player. I think that would have been awesome, but obviously they would never do that. You can't be 100 in the game, but uh, just a suggestion I had. Anyways, though, that's pretty much all I got. Just wanted to react to these with all you guys, and I want to know, what are some ratings that surprised you? Uh, are you kind of you know, appalled at any of them, like I was with the Willie Gay one? Uh, are there any that you were surprised by? Let me know in the comments. would love to hear from you guys. So all that being said, make sure you like, share. All that being said, make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe so more Chiefs fans can find this. And make sure you check out my work on showmefootball.com and kckingdom.com. Peace. Thank you.